everybody, welcome to my channel for a new battle report. I am uh, continuing my adventures with a wild art list and I was playing against um, an usual opponent for me, who, which is Shizu from Team ETC France. He was training his Demon Legion, playing also a more aggro list than what he's used to. So this was definitely going to be an interesting match to play. My list, some small tweaks, basically I exchanged the role of both. I wanted to have this time the General on Rock Rock and the BSB with Cult Leader on the Tasker to be a bit more flexible and to have double uh, BSB and General 18 leadership or reroll range. Then I tweaked against the uh, again the core since I wasn't too convinced of the biggest big unit of Sabertooth Tigers without a hunter giving them Vanguard, uh, Swift Reform, and so on. I decided to to put again the Trident unit, uh, some scraplings, and the rest. I think it didn't change at all. My opponent was playing uh Sugulag as a master tomatogy he had a scourge he had 19 myrmidon 10 lemurs 10 imps two big chariot two gremlins five furies and five bloatflies so quite typical uh demon legion list with basically a lot of threats on the table a lot of flexible threats two of them flying a couple of single models a couple of chaff as well so definitely a list that i found on paper to be quite powerful we randomly got King of the Hill and Don Assault and here you have both uh, spell selection. I debated a bit between Frenzy Check and um, Break the Spirit which would have been the more usual choice for me. I decided to uh, take Frenzy. I wanted to try out to see if I can Frenzy bait some annoying stuff for him since he had no BSB because uh, of his list. Matchup analysis. so. Yeah, we have both close combat oriented army. He could do more damage from distance than what I could do because of my list. I have less range damage than him. So I have more, I think, urgency to engage at some point. Uh, deployment, I would be happy to start and to be aggressive because we play Dawn Assault, King of the Hill. We know more or less where is going to be the opponent. And I would, I think that the one of us that could start could get some board, more board control than the other, basically, and put some pressure on the opponent. Rock Rock seems to be uh, my best tool against Sugulak and Scorch. Uh, basically on the charge they can do a lot of damage and could be very scary for his um, characters. My estimation was somehow an unstable draw. Um, depends a bit who's starting. Can happen a lot because we both have a lot of combat power. We both want to go into combat at some point. So I think uh, a lot can happen in this game. A uh, deployment, sorry this picture is not so good but after it get better because I didn't have a screenshot but I still decided to pick this one because it allowed me to explain you what happened at deployment. He won the roll for side, cut it that way and picked the ruin at his piece of train and I just took the opposite lake. Uh, basically two pieces of train that are very hard to attack for the opponent because of Don Assault. And then I dropped for first turn. I scouted my trappers, I put uh, Iron Fist Giant on the left, Tuskers, Sabertooth Tigers, General, uh, Tribesman, BSB, Tribesman with the Mage, Second uh, Tiger, Rock Rock, Giant, and all the way back here that you can't see are my trapplings. Uh, scraplings. And my trappers, I just put them basically, I vanguarded on the hill to put the trap counters, and then turn one, I will move somehow like that to put another counter here. Um, he deployed with the flies on the left, Sugulag here, one chariot, unit of Lemurs, Furies, Myrmidons, second chariot, Sug um, Scourge, and on the far right he had his imps. So my turn one, I move uh, forward, started to bait him, so I just put as a um, kind of chaff piece here in the middle, my trappers with no overrun for him, basically I had in mind the fact that I could cast uh, the Frenzy spell. I put my general, uh, my mage in range of uh, the prime target, which are Sugulag and the chariot. On the right, I push a bit my Tuskers and the giant, um, yeah, as much as I could, more or less. And then on the left as well, push Max, turn around, uh, yeah, push my my scrapling towards the left as well, and position Rock Rock to cover the angles. And those guys move also a bit forward, but I already have the mage here because I knew that he can charge very far away with his uh, chariot. In magic I got only one spell off which was Frenzy 
uh, Savage Fury on his general, which I was quite excited about because I felt uh, if he had to charge that, I have opportunities to do things after. So um, we'll see if he passes that or not. I uh, passed the frenzy check and charged with his Lemurus against my chaff piece. I decided to hold this offers one DT, and basically um, I felt I have some counters in place, so this is going to be interesting. And if I flee, he has a high likelihood to catch me here in the middle of my line and reform and maybe push. Uh, because he would have the information where he is, how he can reform and then he can push hard behind. So I felt this was way too risky to, to flee. Um, other than that, yeah, move the Scorch to the left, tempt me to charge, move those guys a bit back. Uh, rearrange his line, basically, more or less. And he in anticipated the fact that I could potentially charge by having some counters in place to counter charge me. In his magic phase, he failed End of Heaven, he got small End of Heaven on my left giant, which did nothing. I dispel Wrath of God and he failed Hereditary with one dice. Um, he win by two on this combat. I decided not to take General or BSB to flee. He didn't catch me, he just restrained and stayed where his way was. On my turn two, um, I had no frenzy check because of the position of the scraplings, uh, trappers. I rallied them on nine rollable, reposition a bit my units here. I think um, this one, this was definitely a, a mistake. Basically, what I wanted to do is push a bit forward, tempted, tempt him to charge me, but minimize with the board to not have him every, not have everybody in combat. But this does doesn't do a lot because basically I'm just avoiding one flies. And in exchange for that, I'm losing this line of sight of this part of the map, which is really key. And at the same time, I didn't do it to push more. So definitely here by leaving an 11 charge, I should have looked at him. And uh, I don't worry if he charged me, he's not sure to break me. And then I can counter charge. So this was definitely a bad move of my giant. And this will have consequences. Push my Tuskers forward. Uh, put my general slightly on the hill to see a lot of things. Reposition the BSB to be able to charge here if I want to. Reposition the chaff. Um, yeah, reposition most of my unit and I move my shaman all the way back uh, in order for the gremlins to not be able to chaff anything here in my middle line. Uh, far left, I march my giant to the flank telling him uh, you can do what you want with the scourge but if you move out of the way I will charge the imps next round in my magic phase. And uh, yeah, turn around those guys because if he decided to go out here with the gremlins, I wanted to have a charge on him, potentially. Magic face, got Swarm of Insect off on his Sugulag, did one wound, and then I was lucky with Totemic Sovereign, four dice against five, I got that off. Breast weapon on the Furies, uh, I did five wounds, but he passes two. A ward save on a six up, and he's still alive with two Furies, which was quite important. Shooting attack, I did three wounds, the Myrmidon with one Og crossbow. His turn, he charged against my Trappers, uh, decided to activate two chaffs, one here and one here, where I wasn't too... Definitely did two mistakes here. I didn't pay attention that he could go out and chaff here, which I should have. And here, since I didn't position well my giant, he can basically push here, chaff me, and he's under no big danger, basically. Uh, here, charge my trappers. Here, I decided to stay. Obviously, he can block me, but next round I can charge him. And because of the totemic summon, he rearranged the position of his chariot. He decided to chaff me with the Scourge. Um, turn around his imps to blast my totemic summon out of the way and reposition those guys to counter my uh, potential aggressive move. And this is magic phase. Ross mentioning that he has a very important mar march check on the furries and on the fly as well to be able to, to push and also to be able to chaff me. Uh, he got a breast weapon strength 5. On who was that? I think on the chariot here to try to deal with my totemic summon. He tried end of heaven but failed. He failed also the wrath of God. And with the breast weapon, he did two wounds to my totemic summon, which is still alive. This is really nice. Um, close combat. He run me down, overrun into my BSB. I wasn't. I had that prepared, so I just counter charge with my um, dart, including a champion that can take the challenge against his champion. Here I decided I want to get rid of at least one of the chaff. I decided to charge with my dog. I have decent odds of getting rid of him. Decided to not charge here his chaff because I was going to get countercharged by two strong units. So I just moved back, uh, telling him, you can charge me, but you can fail it. And even if you go and kill me, I can countercharge you with Rock Rock. And if you don't break me, then maybe I countercharge you and I get you for free. 
position my giant in his back, also telling him if you don't break me, I, can't, I can counter charge you in the back. So lots of lots of options here to counter this situation. Here in combat, here my giant passes the march check on the 8, move around to threaten his back line, the same for the totemic summon, and the rest just rearrange the position. In magic, I got um, a hereditary on the Tuskers, so just making sure that he, if he charge me, uh, it's, this is going to be hard. I fail Swarm of Insect, I fail plus one uh, Resilience, and then I got a Totemic Summon rolling three sixes and a one. Miscasting, got that off here, didn't manage to dispel it, and I did zero wound to my Shaman, so very lucky here. Close combat, I did one wound with the cat, he did one wound to me, but he failed the check on minus one, and he just popped, which is really, really nice, because I got rid of a Chaff with a dog, and here he popped as well, I just, uh, yeah, kill enough model to make him pop after. His turn 3, he decided to push with uh, su with his core, I ah, know, excuse me, I need to start with the charges. So he decided to charge with the chariot to try to pin down my rock rock, um, which is interesting. He failed the charge, it was an 8 swift ride, he failed that one, so he needed something to avoid me getting rock rock in, getting rid of the chariot, overrun into the Myrmidon, because of my big base, uh, this was going to be very dangerous for him. So he decided to march, so he passes the march check on the 8, no reroll, go to the ruin, suffers one wound from DT and went in front to chaff my rock rock. This is going to be interesting. Um, other than that, reposition those chariot, Myrmidon facing my totemic summon, which is very annoying for him. Reposition back the flies out of line of sight of the giant and position Suglak behind the hill to try to threaten me and get spells and so on. Uh, the gremlins here yeah, just uh, didn't pass the mouth check, just moved slightly forward. In his magic phase, he got uh, a binding scroll, smite the unbeliever, because I wanted my rock rock to be strength 7 when I go against the scourge. I dispel end of heaven against my shaman, or against, against the rock rock maybe. I dispel that one. Uh, I got a breast weapon, strength 4, that kill one of my totemic summon, I think this one. Um, and he got also reroll to wound on his scourge. My turn, I took two charges, the rock rock against the scourge, that has six wound left. Uh, if I get through him, I think this is potentially a game breaker, or at least huge in the game, because basically I would win the all left flank and I would get a huge uh, yeah, possibility to go for secondary as well, potentially. So this could be uh, very interesting for me. So I got the charge, got the charge here, onto the imps, um, position the giant on his back, chaff his sugulag, position my, myself, basically the plan was to cast another frenzy on him, if he charged here I would see him and then I could charge him potentially. I think here I didn't do the optimal play, which would have been potentially to change the position between the BSB and the rock rock. I think the rock rock would have been better here to look at the center and provide some counters for other stuff. So I think I could have done slightly better with the general maybe this position than the BSB starting here. We will see. But I guess here um, it wasn't the best of the move. I could have covered this zone way better because here it can just push me and I don't have good counters in place. So I think my rock rock could have been positioned better. Just leave the BSB as a counter charger for this part of the map which is enough. So position the BSB first here, and then the general right here looking at the left would have been a better move. Uh, he repositioned the Tuskers, making sure that if he cannot, if he doesn't uh, passes the march on the 5, he cannot chaff me, uh, which is enough, and leave him with an 11 charge or something like that. In the magic phase, I got frenzy bait on his general again, so this is nice. Uh, I dispel plus 1 strength on my rock rock, obviously. Close combat, I did 3 wounds to him, he did 5 wounds to me, so I'm still alive on 1 wound, which is not the worst scenario, but I expect it slightly more than that. So I uh, reform in a way that he cannot char counter charge me with the chariot, here I dealt with the imps and just post combat pivot. His turn 4, I uh, repositioned the chariot, repositioned the myrmidons, repositioned the flies to put me in his front, uh, and push with Sugulak in the middle of my line, since I don't have any good counters in place. Um, so this is going to be interesting because I go before him, so if I can sneak through a couple of wounds, you never know. I mean, I might just leaving him on 1-2 wounds could be enough to basically not see him again in the game. 
Um, I decide, yeah, this is his turn. Um, in his magic phase, he passes, forgot to mention, but he passes the frenzy with the general again on the nine maximize. Uh, he passes the march test on the f march test on the flies, passes the march test on Sugulag, which was both quite important. Uh, he got the breast weapon, strength four on the chariot, and kill my dog. Uh, he got reroll to wound off on his general. I dispel Hand of Heaven on my mage, and he got the Wrath of God. So basically, uh, since I was trapped with my two unit that could make a bunker for my gen my um, mage, I was in trouble because of Hand of Heaven, and I decided to dispel that and let um, Wrath of God get in cast, which is always annoying. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, I think that's all. Do we have something close combat? I did zero wounds. He killed me. So yeah, no, nothing crazy here. Uh, my turn five. I charge with the giant here to pin him down. Put the BSB within 18. I'm going most likely to be steadfast, and then I can counter charge with the Tuskers. I wasn't hundred percent sure because he's going to strike after me, but still, most likely with. Uh, 11 attacks on 4 up, 3 up, and then he has Toxic on my wounds. So basically, if he one shot me, he could get free private and charge stuff, which is the reason why I didn't push more with General BSB to be in a better position here on the right. So this is a bit annoying, and the whole situation here, why I cannot count too much on the Giant, is the fact that the Mage couldn't be within buff range. So I cannot make that secure, which is a bit annoying. So I didn't want to take too much risk here. Uh, use this unit to chaff. Here you can see his Wrath of God. Move here back to not getting charged by the Chariot. And here continue to cause trouble with the uh, Totemic Beast moving out of the way of the Myrmidon. They cannot see me. And the Giant moving here in the back to threaten him. Cause March check on the Scourge and so on. Uh, here since I cannot go for the secondary anymore because I'm not fast enough. I just turn around and save the points. In the Magic phase. I got hereditary on the Tusker, just making sure if he doesn't, um, basically if he get through my giant that he doesn't, cannot kill me easily. So hereditary was off, and then I tried to get, I got another totemic summon off here in the back of the chariot, I guess. I guess so. Um, and the Wrath of God didn't came down this turn, close combat, I did three wounds, he did two wounds to me, so we draw. So he did less than what I expected. He's turn 5, so here you can see my Totemic Summon. Uh, my other one that is still alive with one wound. He didn't pass the March check here, so he just moved here out of my line of sight to threaten me. Uh, move Sugilag, he didn't pass the March check as well, so this was a ba bad round after all this check passed this time and he failed both of, th of them. And he repositioned here as far as possible from my Rock Rock. And that was it. Yeah, just positioned the Chariot to be able to counter charge me if we go into this combat. Uh, magic phase, he got breast weapon, strength 4 on his general, he got reroll to wound on his general, he failed end of heaven, and I dispelled my Dian Believer on my Tuskus, obviously. Uh, Wrath of God didn't came down again, the giant did only one wound, I had like 10 attacks on 3 up, three up and I did only one wound, so he's still here, did 3 wounds to me, so I'm still alive before my turn 6. My turn 6, I took a couple of charges and I got the Rock Rock on 11 against his general. So this is going to be very exciting. I decided not to charge with the giant, didn't want to to die. So I just moved out of the way of, of um, his coach. I took the charge with the Tuskus. I took the charge with um, Totemic Summon here in the flank. I still had the Breath Weapon. And I move out of the way. So Wrath of God is here, move out of the way with the Shaman. Didn't want to go into this unit in case something bad happens here that he can get also those points for free. So I just positioned my shaman here. And since I had no way to really escape the gremlins, I just put the chaff piece in front of them. Um, and repositioned the BSB also had nothing crazy to do. So I just put him in a safe spot, basically. Um, we'll see what happens in combat. It will be exciting. I got first Swarm of Insect off on his Vanadra with three wounds left. So I could definitely kill him or, kill him or at least get half points. But I did only one wound, so he's still here with all his points. Got hereditary off on the Tuskus, and that's it for the magic phase, so no buffs on my general. Close combat. Um, he, here we're going to be stuck in combat. 
this one I'm going to do 10 wounds he's going to do total 4 to me I kill him but he kills he did exactly the last wound on the giant so he kills the giant uh, meaning the giant's dead and I have 3 tuskers left with hereditary on them here we still stuck and uh, here I did 0 wounds and he one shot me <laughs> so the wrath of god did 1 wound to me that's it so I had 5 wounds resilient 6 and with 5 attacks on uh, like 2 up and then he had 5 up rollable and the rest weapon on 6 up rollable he did 5 wounds to me so he just one shot my general which is uh, not something I expected I passed the 7 rollable here his last turn I wanted to charge against this small unit that passes the tail check I felt I'm going to all because if he gets here he cannot end off even my uh, shaman which is nice so he tried that and I just um yeah what did i do he tried that and failed charge and he decided not to charge those guys and that was hit in the magic phase i don't remember what he tried to cast but he got with four dice end of heaven on my general and just uh kill him on on not the general the level four he got like seven hits strength six one shot boom uh kill the dog Kill Totemic Summon, that's the end of the game. So huge turn of event on turn 6. I had a small win before that. And now we are down to a 13. <laughs> so this is crazy. I wanted to try. I think this is also the purpose of training. To try to try those combat. To see how it goes. To get a feeling about them. And then you know how to adjust the risk management in tournament. Post game analysis. Uh, my tribesman in the middle seems trapped. At deployment, I was facing chariot that I have movement 10 and I have movement 6. And if they charge me, I'm in trouble. Meaning I had no safe bunker for my shaman. Meaning my shaman was in trouble. Giant forced him to react and to defend on the flanks. Um, he had two frenzy check. Frenzy or two or three. Three frenzy check, frenzy check on his general or two. At least two. Uh, didn't pay off. He passes them. So this was a spell for nothing. Maybe break the spirit would have been better. I don't know. Would have been an additional buff, which wouldn't have been, um, yeah, would have been nice for this game. Didn't anticipate it. The gremlins, the gremlins, well enough. Uh, they shouldn't have been able to to chaff my Tuskus. Turn two, turn two, my right giant. This was a very bad move that I made. Should have looked toward the left to not allow him to push me. Giant charging the flies. Um, if I better place. My wall, tribesman unit and my magic would uh, allow, allowed me to push more on turn 5 and maybe getting s more points on turn 6. And I was heavily, heavily punished for my turn 6 risk. Basically, I lost 4 points from 11 down to 7. So, uh, my 2 rock rocks bound off Sugula against Coach, which was also interesting to, to see because I felt uh, this should have done better than what I did, which is totally 3 wounds on, on Scourge. And nothing on Sugulag, which is not that much. Uh, on the list, double BSB and general 18 bubble is really, really nice. Gives a lot of freedom. And I think for him, he could have dealt with my left giant with a chariot and push more with the Scourge, which would have caused me more troubles. Also, what can I say about my deployment? I think I should have exchanged the position of Tuskus and Tribesman. Because here, basically, I know that he can put nothing because of Dawn Assault. So I have a zone where I'm... I feel safer, obviously not being in the lake to not uh, lose that fast, but then I can push a bit, uh, be safer with the tribesman and the tusker, I think they can zone properly in the middle against the chariot, even if he charged me, he's not sure to get through, I could, I could de deal with him and all the charge, so I think this would have been um, a better situation because as you saw, the positioning of the tribesman in the middle led to a, a couple of mistakes later in the game, a couple of problems limited my ability to push at some points and at the end cost me even the master shamanism which is a pity so that's all guys for this battle report very interesting game um happy to have tried out some risky stuff i think that's part of training should be that way because if you play all the time very safe then you never learn something about combat so it's also the purpose of the list try to engage uh, quite a lot and see how it goes and uh, yeah was able to learn some lessons here Thanks also for watching the battle report, talk to you soon on the channel.